Welcome back to Sunrise, everyone. Well, the incident in Buffalo, New York last week in which two police officers shoved a 75 year old man to the ground and left him lying there while blood poured out of his ear was troubling, partly because of the original police account. The account claimed that the man was injured when he tripped and fell. If the video hadn't existed, the truth might never have come out. Now, since then, incidents like this one has become a widespread problem, and we want to warn you some of these videos are disturbing. In Philadelphia last week, the police said that a man had pushed an officer off of his bike. A video instead showed an officer striking the man with a baton. And in a suburb of Sacramento in April, a police officer punched a 14-year-old boy multiple times while arresting him. The officer's report didn't mention the punches at all. The Minneapolis police's account of George Floyd's death initially left out the most important details, like the knee pressed on his neck for almost nine minutes. Philip Stinson, a criminologist at Bowling Green State University who has analyzed thousands of police reports, told CNN that lies like these were fairly common. And Chris Magnus, the police chief in Tucson, Arizona, told the Marshall Project, if I had my way, police officers who lie wouldn't just be put on a list. They'd be fired and also not allowed to work in any other jurisdiction as a police officer ever again. Often, though, police union contracts prevent firing even officers with a record of brut brutality and dishonesty, which then casts a shadow over the many police officers who do tell the truth. And today marks the first court appearance of Derek Chauvin, the former police officer who pinned George Floyd to the pavement with the knee to his neck. His charges were upgraded last week from third degree to second degree murder, which carries a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison, in addition to other charges as well. Josh Campbell reports outside the jail where Chauvin is being held.